Germany is the engine of Europe, but what good's an engine without any gas? We're here in the harbor of Wilhelmshaven. We are approaching the LNG tanker that has just arrived that will serve as the terminal to accept liquefied natural gas. Germany is extremely dependent on natural gas for manufacturing, heating homes, generating electricity, and its chemical sector. It used to get more than half of it piped directly from Russia. This ship converts compressed LNG into gas, and it's a major step forward into filling that gap from Russia. The ship has arrived from Spain carrying LNG from Nigeria, and the temperatures outside really underscore the degree of urgency here in Germany for natural gas. They got this done in 10 months. The Chancellor inaugurated it this weekend, and the gas starts flowing. This facility alone can deliver more than 8% of Germany's consumption. Six more like it are on the way, and that will provide infrastructure to cover a third of Germany's consumption. But that doesn't answer the big question. The infrastructure is necessary, but where will they get the actual LNG itself? With Russian taps turned off, it's a fiercely competitive market and cargoes go to the highest bidder. Plus, if China reopens, you can have the world's second biggest economy back at the energy table with a big appetite.